What's up guys, Nitro Freak here, back with the Kansas City preview video. Listen, before I get started with this video, I just gotta say one thing. I came back from Washington with my boys two days ago. It's been two days. A lot of people in my comment section is like, why would you dis uh, respect the Redskins fans like that and stuff like that? You have to go down to Redskins field or FedEx field or whatever the fuck they call that dump to understand what I'm talking about. There's killer bees swarming you the whole game. There are fans antagonize you saying, hey, you say we suck? Yeah, of course we say you suck. We're division rivals. If you don't like it, take the fucking tampon out of your vagina and fucking do something about it. These fucking fans are so... They, they, I, you know what? Fuck them. I'm, I'm done with it. I'm done with the Redskins. We'll see you on Monday Football in October. I'm done with you guys. I don't want to talk about them anymore. They're the most annoying fucking fans in the league. I am done talking about them. With that being said... We got the Kansas City Chiefs this week. I like this game for the Eagles. I'm not saying that because I'm biased. I'm saying that because I'm being realistic. You have to understand that the Kansas City Chiefs beating the New England Patriots wasn't that great of a win. It wasn't. The Kansas City Chiefs were this close, this close to getting blown out. Guess what happened? Gronk's TD got called back and they started performing because the Patriots... Had their momentum swing like that. All the way to the ground. The Kansas City Chiefs are nothing special. They just lost Eric Berry. This is a very winnable game for the Eagles. A lot of people are saying we have no shot in this game. They're full of fucking shit. What is so special about Kansas City? There's nothing special about Kansas City. The New England Patriots had no defensive pressure against this team the whole fucking game. And you're going to say we can't go on the road and beat a team that's very beatable? You're full of shit. The Redskins actually played a decent game. Could it have been a blow? Absolutely. We could have killed the Redskins. But our dumbass coach, Doug Peterson, doesn't know how to call plays to save his fucking life. Has fucking LeGarrette, uh, LeGarrette Blunt go out a fucking bubble screen at the goal line when we have him run up the gut. Sorry. <laughs> Shout out to the Bitterbirds. Shout out to the Bitterbirds. I'm going crazy here. Shout out to the Bitterbirds uh, for saying that because I actually called that when I was at the game. I was like, what are you doing? You have Doug Peter. <laughs> I hate Doug Peterson so much. With that being said, let me get back to what I was saying. The Kansas City Chiefs are a very beatable team. A very, very, very beatable team. And... All the Eagles have to do is play better on offense, have Carson Wentz not overthrow Torrey Smith when he's open by fucking a million miles, and we'll be all right. Carson Wentz played a decent game on Sunday. It wasn't a great game. It wasn't a good game. It was a decent game. He got his yards. He threw it. He threw an INT that was picked by Ryan Kerrigan. It was tipped. It was picked. It was pick six. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm over that game. I hate the Redskins. And, you know... I just, uh, nothing on the Kansas City side impresses me. I'm sorry. They have a coach that was with us for 14 years. His clock management skills fucking suck. I'm not saying Doug Peterson's better. Doug Peterson actually sucks way more than Andy Reid does, but that's not saying much. And, um, you know, I just, there's nothing on the Kansas City side of the ball that impresses me. I'm sorry. Alex Smith never impressed me. Tyree Kill, you know, he impresses me. He has that 4-3 speed, I think it is. But he, you have to understand, he was wide the fuck open when he launched that rocket missile that nobody was covering last week. Like, Alex Smith never throws the long ball. And he found his opportunity after the first 14 fucking years. <sighs> Alex Smith's not a great quarterback. I'm not, I'm not scared of Alex Smith. And you know what? We have the defensive pressure to put him on his ass five to six times this game. All the Eagles have to do this game, and I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I'm not going to talk too much shit about the Kansas City Chiefs because I have no trashy, I have no hate against them. I really don't. You know what? They seem like a bunch of nice, bunch of nice fans out there barbecuing stuff in their face with fucking ribs and shit, which is why Andy Reid loves it. But, you know, I have no hate against them. I really don't. And I feel it's going to be a good game. I feel it's a victory for the Birds. I do. We're the better team. I don't give a fuck what the Vegas line says. I don't give a fuck if it's on the road. I don't give a fuck if it's at home. The Birds have a better team if they play up to their potential. If offense clicks, defense clicks, the head coach has a little bit of brain in this game. 
we'll win this game. I'm very confident. With that being said, fly goes fly. I'm out. Go birds. Have a great week, guys. I will not fucking apologize for a single thing that happened on Sunday. I'm out.